And let's speak to Gary Wyatt, who's on the line from Green Board Games. And, uh, well, it's the time of the year. A lot of families sit round, really, especially at Christmas time, Gary, and, and play board games. But I don't know, with my untutored eye, surely this is now going out of fashion with all these computers around us. Is that true? Not at all. I don't think they've ever gone out of fashion. And frankly, Matt, I don't think they ever will. I think the great thing about a, a board game or any good game is that it enables a, a community, whether that's a family or just a social gathering, to get together and play together. Like I've got an iPhone and and um, I, I've got apps on it and I do like playing it, but it's a very solitary uh, thing to do. And very few computer games offer the ability for, for people to play together, especially people of, of cross-generational. And uh, I think that's a great thing about board games. You can have a seven-year-old playing with a 77-year-old and both enjoying the game. And uh, so I don't think they're going out of fashion. It's all about interaction and, and human contact and something physical on the floor, on the table, in front of you and making noises. Absolutely right. In fact, in fact, one of our games is called Alpha Animals. You do exactly that. You make noises. You have to act like a gorilla or roar like a lion. And it's great fun, especially in the afternoon or, you know, when you've, when you've um, enjoyed the, the day, shall we say. So they're still with us. They're still around. But just looking at the history of board games, I, I suppose it must be chess which is the first, it's the original of all board games. I don't know whether it is. Um, it's really hard to say. I mean, I think in Tutankhamun's tomb, they found a, a board for a game called Senate, and that's about three and a, or 3,100 BC or something like that. So I don't really know. I wasn't around then, but um, but they have been around for a long time. But chess is very old. But, but, but so um, the Romans brought Tabula over to the UK, which is the forerunner of backgammon, but, but chess has been around a long time, and Go as well in China has been a long time. So each civilization, I guess, has had their own uh, um, games, and um, they've been around for a long, long time. Backgammon, is that still played? It is, yeah. I, I think they probably have a world championship of backgammon still. It's, it's, it's a very popular game, as is indeed is chess, and uh, they have lots of championships of those as well. And there's something called Mahjong, which used to be popular, but I haven't heard about it for years, and I've, I must say I've never had a go. Yeah, it, 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 it's again, it's it's, it's a game um, that has been around for a long, long time, and uh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I haven't played the mahjong either, but um, I know it is be very, very popular and still popular. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of people will say this is for children, but um, no, I think would probably be the answer because adults still enjoy it, don't they? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, our, our best-selling game is called Brain Box, and what we've done here is try to be really clever. We want the 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 seven, eight-year-old to be able to play with a range of ages because it's a visual observation game and, and that's what makes a game successful is if you can come up with something that different people can play at the same level so it's not just the older player winning all of the time and um, the way we've developed this game is, is, is to do exactly that is to um, look at a card for 10 seconds observe what's on that card and then have to answer a question based on the roll of the dice so you've got a bit of luck involved but you've got this visual observation and so this brain box range we've got like 25 different topics from the um, you know uh, things that have changed inventions that have changed the world to world history to the maths curriculum for uh, seven and eight year olds it's a whole variety of, of topics that we've done there's the same thing too and they're really really popular and they're sort of top of the amazon best-selling list which is really good wow and i think another necessity with board games something i've certainly found is having a good clean outcome and for it not to go on forever and ever i, I think i'm going on about monopoly now which <laughs> i loved monopoly and we loved sitting down playing it with friends and family but but really, it did go on forever and ever, and there were always arguments at the end. Yeah, and I and I think I'd add to that the simplicity of the rules as well. You, you don't want. I mean, Germans love it. Germans love a, a good rule book that takes them a few hours to read. We don't, as a, uh, usually. And I think a successful game has uh, a very clear, simple rules you can explain in sort of fifteen seconds. And but has the outcome. You, you quite rightly said. A, again, um, we've tried to make most of our games limited by time. So the brain box games have who's got the most number of cards after 10 minutes? Really simple. Mm -hmm. you know. So if you want to play for an hour, you can. But there is a game that lasts 10 minutes. And so that, that we find that's pretty good. Well, Gary, thank you very much for coming on today. Is there a website people can go to find yeah. more information? Well, also, you, your listeners may be interested is that if, if they have invented a game, we've got an inventors page on the website, so we give them links to where they can sort of protect it and who they can go and talk to, etc. So if you go on to all the W's, greenboardgames.com, and there's an inventors page there. So, so that, that, that's where they can go for some more information. 
I remember as a child making my own homemade version of Monopoly with Norwich place names being yeah. the city that I grew up in. And of course, years later, uh, the makers did decide to do all sorts of different editions. And I always felt that that was my idea. I expect other people <laughs> have come up with it as well. <laughs> well, but it's been a very successful idea. And Monopoly has been around since the 30s. And, uh, you know, the, the latest um, versions of it based on cities and also based on uh, licensed properties are all, uh, it's a very popular game. And again, that is still at the top of the Amazon best-selling list as well. So, you know, they, 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 it is a good game, no, no doubt about it. Well, good on you, Gary. Thank you very much for coming on today. No, thank you, Matthew.